Hey, what's up everyone? Mark Price here at DevSlopes.com and I just slightly want to touch on the notion of being able to create your own modules with Node. So let's open up a terminal here and I'm in a folder here called test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a script that imports another script. And this is my own module. In the past, you saw me do NPM with the require. Okay, we're still going to use require, but we're going to import our own module, not one that we downloaded from NPM. So what I'm going to do is touch and we're going to call this, we'll just say app.js just for fun. And let's make a second one. And let's just call this print. So touch print.js, we're going to have a script called print. And what it's going to do is it's just going to print something. Okay, so let's go into print.js. I to insert here, I'm using Vim, the uh, terminal text editor here, just to make this quick. And so what we want to do is just have a function, okay? So I'm going to say var, and we're going to call this print equals function. And it's going to take one parameter, we're going to call it thing to print. Okay, so there's our function, right? I just did that wrong. <laughs> there we go. Put a semicolon at the end of it there. And let's just go ahead and say console.log thing to print. Okay, that's all it's doing. It's just a silly function that's going to call console.log, but I want to show you how you can import this. Uh, so what you're going to do is say module.exports equals print. Okay, so with Node, module.exports is how you export things that you want available in other packages. So in this case, we are exporting a print function. It didn't have to be. We can export anything in JavaScript. Uh, we can export a string. So we can say, hey, of course, the print wouldn't be of any value here. Uh, we can export anything you want. Anything you can do in JavaScript, you can export here, any type of thing that you can store in a variable. Okay, so we can export it. That's really cool. And so I'm going to export print. Now, the function's not being called. We're just exporting the actual function itself. Okay. And I'm going to colon shift here and then X to save it. So we've got our print.js and let's go into our app.js vim app.js. And what we're going to do is just import that. Okay. So again, before you saw the, the read line sync that we imported. So we're going to do it a little bit differently. Now we're going to say var print equals require. And what are you thinking? What would, what would you put in here? What would you say print.js? Well, there's a, a certain syntax you need to use when importing your own modules, and that's dot slash. Okay, that indicates that it's not in the npm modules folder, it's actually here in uh, our project. And of course, you could put a directory here, uh, whatever you need, you know, you could say dot dot, you know, slash, you know, assets or whatever, whatever you need to do. But in our case, it's right here in the same file system here. And we're just going to say print. Now, I'm not putting print.js because it's assuming it's a, a JavaScript file. In the future with React, we will put a .jsx because it won't know how to find that by itself. But if it's just a plain JavaScript file, you don't need the, the extension here. You can just say dot slash print. And what it's going to do is it's going to import our print function. Okay, so we've got it referenced here, but how do we use it? Well, we know that we exported a function, remember? So all we have to do is treat it like a function. So that's the one thing you need to know when you're requiring your own packages or using a third party library is you need to know exactly what is being exported from the other module. It could be an object, it could be a function. You don't know unless you really look at the code or the reference material, the documentation. So we're just going to say, what are we going to do? We're just going to say print. We're just going to call it. So again, in the other code file, we exported a function. And so all we're doing is grabbing whatever it's exporting and it's coming into this variable here. And then we're just calling the function because we know it's a function. So if this all works correctly, actually, we need to put something in here. Let's say, did this work? So remember, the function takes one parameter, the thing to print. And so let's go ahead and escape out of this and save it. What I'm going to do is just run node app.js, not print.js, but just app.js. Did this work? Well, it definitely worked. Okay. And if, again, you're confused at all, I just want you to remember that module.exports can export anything. So whatever you export is what's going to be imported when someone does the require statement. In our case, we just exported a function. And so if I go to vim print.js just to show it again, print, that's a function. It takes one parameter here, thing to print. We passed in a string 
and then it prints it here, and then we exported that function and we called it in the other script file accordingly. So this is how you can import your own code files into Node into your uh, other scripts that you have. Very powerful tool, very, very powerful tool. This is one of the things that's amazing about Node is the ability to easily import things into other script files. So that's it, but that's how you work with Node. And this is a very, very small overview of Node. The Node is so much more powerful and there's so many more things going on. We've just barely scratched the surface, but that's it. Mark Price here, devslopes.com. Let's move forward. Oh, <laughs> oh,